So how many joint locks are there? Three. 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 <coughs> Meaning that's three directions I can injure a joint. It could be a knee, foot, finger, <laughs> wrist, elbow, shoulder, hip. So the, the art is in the control. Yeah? Okay. In general, if I want to injure a particular joint, I want to control the next joint up. So if I just try to do this, here. So a lot of times, for instance, I hold here before I attack the wrist. Okay. If I want to attack the knee, I got to control the hip. If I want to attack the foot, I got to control the knee. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go into a standard arm lock from the guard. There's really two major arm locks from the guard. In a sense, there's a slow controlled one and a fast less controlled one. The advantage of the fast less controlled one is obviously he doesn't see it coming as much. Okay. I, what I lose in control, I pick up in surprise. Okay. So the other way, he sees it coming, I just have to rely on being so tight that he can't get out of it. Now obviously when I say fast less controlled, I didn't mean no control. Right? We never try to just have sloppy in, in, in service of speed. Okay, so we're going to work the leg hook. We call it the leg hook arm lock. Okay, and you'll actually see this a lot more in MMA than you will in sport jujitsu. The very simple reason being in MMA, the people are always reaching forward, whether to hit you, whether to hold you. So it's easier to do this one. Right? Okay. So for now, I'm actually just going to hold right at his forearm. I can hold back here, all of this. Normally I don't like to be below the elbow for my arm locks, but for now, to help you guys learn it, we'll do this. And I'm gonna reach under his leg. Okay. When I reach under his leg, I don't want my hips on the ground. If your hips are on the ground, you cannot pivot. What happens is you end up doing this and falling on your side. So my hips have to stay on the ground. I hook, I pivot, and I lift my hips. See that? Don't go like this. Here. I have to pivot. That's why I'm hooking the leg. This is not an arm lock. Okay, he'll just smash me and pull his arm out. Here. I need to turn my angle. So I hook the leg. Pivot. My leg bites. My leg bites. You know, how far my hips are off the ground. Now here's the trick with all the arm locks. This is the leg that helps you pivot. Even the traditional one where I put the foot on the hip. If I just focus on this, and my leg stays down, so watch when I go, this leg comes up. You see how it's high up on his back? This leg goes up and I bite. Lastly, I never push. I push, I lose the arm. Does everybody understand? Don't get frustrated with this. The mechanic of this is one of the more difficult ones to learn in jiu-jitsu. Why people try to find other ways to do things. The ability to spin either from mount, like we just were with the arm lock, or from the guard is very difficult. And so people try to come up with other ways to do it. But this is a very fast arm lock. I'm using this to keep myself pivoted. Also because I can use it if I need to go to another position. Okay. So, we're, I'm just showing you the very sloppy version first. And just to practice. He holds. I'll leave and lift my body up a little bit. He hooks. Now, as he hooks, here's the thing. Keep your legs kind of tight. Go for it. Open your legs and keep them kind of tight. Now, throw your legs over. This time, hook, really just kind of open your legs wide. You see? And then the leg comes up. So don't be tight. For now, to learn it, just really open your legs. Lift your hips. And he's just. And that's all that's happening. Okay? This is where the break dancing comes in. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. 
Really focus on, as you pull, this leg, try to bring the, the leg up the back as much as possible. Easy, easy there, Chin. Okay. <laughs> Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. All right, don't get frustrated with this. Very important, lastly, spin and fall on your side a little bit. So it's not this. If you try to arm bar me now, this pressure is going that way, but my elbow is down. So arm bar, putting no arm bar there. The angle is wrong. So you don't want to be on your side. The way I always tell people is imagine somebody drove a steel pole right through your chest. Okay, so I'm here, my hand is that pole. Understand? Yes. Alright, this doesn't have to be fast. Okay. Please be careful, don't throw a skate into this. The, the injury for the training partner. Uh, if you have to, to help your partner, I can even do this. I will grab, come back, come back. I will grab his collar, reach under my leg. Now go. I will pull him to help him. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, so there's multiple parts to a submission. I break it down this way. There's the cue. What do I mean? It means he's in the position for me to be able to execute the submission. It's, it's the green light. Go for this. There's the movement to the position from which you can finish the arm lock or the submission. Right? And then there's the execution of the submission. Okay, so all of those have to be there. So right. So one of the cues is his elbow is on my body, not across, just somewhere on my body, generally between my belly button and my hip. Here. Okay. Does that make sense? That's that's kind of an ideal cue for an arm lock. His arm was over here or his elbow was outside my hip, I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, here. Okay, his posture is in a good position. It's not too low. It's not too high. So that's my cue. Now, the movement is going to the side. Okay, now, when we get to the finish, or to the position, I need to make sure, let's, uh, I was talking to Tim. I said, he asked, what is the injury? I'm injuring the elbow. Right? If I am below the elbow, there is no arm lock. There is no elbow lock. He's actually trying to get his elbow out. Okay? Or defend another way. But for now, if I go like this and he pulls his elbow up, I don't have the arm lock. Okay? So what I don't want to do is push, right? Especially with our legs. This is our idea all the time, right? I do not want to push him away. Okay, well actually what I'm gonna do is clamp my legs, even bring my knees in a little bit, and the finish is lifting my hips. That's what's gonna hyperextend his elbow. If I just push his arm away, his arm stays straight. It doesn't break the elbow. Okay, so, a couple things. When I go here, I don't want to cross my feet. There's a way that we'll do this, the Cabrio way, but for now, my legs are here. Now see my toes? If you point your toes, you have a tendency to start to do this and push. Okay? I need to bite, because what I also want to stop is him driving his head up to the ceiling or driving towards me. Drive towards me? Here. If I go like this, he's gonna to start to do that or push me this way. Okay? So I'm biting and biting not crossing my feet. Here, bringing my knees in. The finish is gonna be this, not this, okay? Here, I keep the arm tight to my body, I hook the leg, I pinch everything tight, knees are tight, knees are coming towards me, I'm not pushing away, I bridge. I don't, I push as hard as I want, there's no arm lock. I bite, and I bridge. I actually look over this shoulder. Okay. Does everybody understand? Okay. So it's this motion. Not 
this way. So we're here. Try to establish a position before you try to do the submission. In other words, don't try to spin and right away try to start doing it. Get everything tight. Person, by the way, here, relax your grip for a second. Don't try to just fall to the side. The one chance I had is fighting for my knees. He puts me on my back, it gets much, much harder. And that again is the trick. Watch this. <coughs> the tighter everything is, the more tap on my finger. Okay? The looser everything is, the more we angle I can push and pull. So, knees together, feet in, knees in, bridge. Keep the hand glued to your chest when you do. Don't let it move away. <coughs> If you do this right, it's not much movement, so please don't ah, hit it hard. Why? It's his turn next. It's his turn next. Or her turn next. Okay, let's go. Hands by Joe. Are we playing prison ball, huh? Oh, you're right. 